Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. I thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Uh, we have a very interesting interview or tag today. This tag was created by Dr. Claire Smith. She's also a reviewer here on YouTube. So please go check out our channel. She's an amazing doctor and a scientist, you know, a wonderful person to get to know about certain things that she talk about on her channel and fragrances as well. Um, she also relates fragrances with her science background and um, maybe you can learn some amazing things. Also, I was tagged by Veronica at Veronica Says. Veronica's an amazing human being as well. Um, absolutely love her channel. You know, um, we've become, you know, pretty good friends over the past couple of months. And, you know, we're just all here to support one another. So today, um, this is a really kind of intimate tag, a little bit. It gives you a chance to... Uh, figure out the person that you're always watching talking about perfume your reviews it gives you a deeper look inside of their lives or their daily lives and basically just what's in their head so if you're interested on what I have to say today and what's going on always in my head and uh, the things that I just view or see in my daily life if you're a little squeamish or squirmish I um, advise you to possibly maybe not watch this review or maybe you don't want to hear some of the things that I might say uh, because it might be a little disturbing for you but it's my daily life so um, some of these some of these things um, I'm gonna be talking about um, so please continue to support this channel um, go and watch Veronica's interview and Dr. Claire Smith's interview as well and anyone else that was tagged um, check out their interviews and just get to know intimately um, the person that you are actually listening to sometimes even several times a day on reviews all right so without further ado we're going to go ahead and there's 12 questions i think there's about 12 questions and we'll answer all the 12 questions as best as i could some i really could not find any answers for um this is almost like a freestyle because i didn't want to think about it too much some are pretty obvious uh but some i'll just figure it out as i go along okay um, so without further ado, let's get into these questions. So the very first question is, um, what is my earliest scent memory? Well, my earliest scent memory was um, my mom. I didn't. I don't really remember a lot from my childhood. Maybe I would probably say about seven years, maybe five years and below. Um, you know, we moved out here from Missouri and we moved to Los Angeles when I was about, I think about five or six years old and I've been in Los Angeles, California ever since then. So um, the memory that I do have, I know when my mom moved out here, she sold Avon and she sold Mary Kay. I mean, she sold everything that she could get her hands on. And um, she always had these little Avon pads um, that I would always, always tear into, you know, as a child. And you know, that's when I developed a love for perfume just wearing those little pads and you you know sneaking those little pads whenever she wasn't around and you know I would just rub them all over my body so I would say um my earliest memory scent memory was the scent uh and perfume of the Avon pads also there's another scent memory that I have as a child growing up you know you're always going to your friends homes and you know um, and your own home yourself. My mom like fried a lot of chicken and you know, um, don't laugh. <laughs> and you know, other people in the neighborhood, they fried chicken as well or fried foods, fried pork chops. So um, growing up, I smelled a lot of fried foods. And today I cannot tolerate like a lot of fried foods. They make me nauseous. I do not personally fry food in my house at all. Um, maybe once every three, five years, I might do something that the kids wanted. But other than that, I saute a lot of my food only because I grew up smelling that fried pork chop, fried chicken smell, fried anything, and it really made me nauseous. So it's a little traumatic for me today. <laughs> um, so that's that. So number two, what does happiness smell like to you? Um, I would say that to me, hmm, happiness just smells like, you know, very clean oceanic air, like beautiful flowers, you know, maybe like specifically like yellow flowers, um, sunflowers, just like running through a field of beautiful flowers 
um, flowers and not really roses, but more of sunflowers. You know, every time I look at a sunflower, every time I smell a sunflower, you know, it just brings so much happiness. Um, and mentally, it's like an escape for me when I do smell those yellow florals. So I would pretty much say that's what happiness um, smells like to me. Um, you know what happiness also smells like to me? Me being a nurse, happiness is coffee. When I smell the scent of coffee, um, we all get, I get so happy because, you know, it's an instant like perk, you know, when I'm so tired and, you know, I've had a long day or like three, four nights straight, sometimes even seven nights straight. Um, you know, it's just, and those are 12 hour shifts. That smell of coffee, you know, it just, it makes you know how a dog the ears i think it stands up you know when they're at an alert that's how my alarm in my brain goes off um it makes me happy when i smell coffee and especially if it's from another country okay number three is that love smells like um this was a pretty easy one for me i just remember growing up and on those holidays uh like thanksgiving christmas Easter, you know, days like those where your family, your mom, um, or it was just my mom, because she was a single parent. Um, my mom would cook um, dinners for us, you know, Sunday dinners, these big dinners, and you come in the house and it smells like spices and, you know, turkey and ham and, you know, dressing and, you know, salty macaroni and cheese and, you know, different scents, um, you know, that I've smelled when it comes to home cooked meals. And I truly believe that's what love smells like an amazing home cooked meal, a warm home, apple pie, you know, cinnamon, things like that time, you know, um, just all kinds of spices. Number four, um, is what does heartbreak and loss smell like? Now, I thought long and hard on this one and I could not figure it out. I was like, I don't know because yeah, you know, my heart's been broken multiple times before, but um, I know once Veronica said it smells like salty tears on a pillow or things like that, um, but I really can't relate to the smell of um, tears, I know I've tasted them, you know, <laughs> multiple times, but um, I would actually have to say it took me back to work and um, heartbreak and loss to me, it actually smells like a plastic bag, you all. Um, and I know that sounds very odd, but um, uh, at work, you know, when some, someone has died and like you have to prepare the body and you we have the bot the plastic body bags they actually come in another plastic bag but when you open up that body bag you get this whiff of white hardcore like plastic smell and the entire time that you have to you know clean this person and you have that bag lying next to you and then you have to roll it under the body um, in a blanket and, and preparation to put this person's body inside of it. Um, that kind of, it took me right there. You know, it didn't take me to my personal life, uh, but it took me to work. And, you know, I just, I, that smell is, is just anytime I smell that type of plastic smell, it's really, bo it bothers me because to me, it relates back to death. Um, it relates back to, you know, family members crying, um, the heartbreak of family members and, you know, things of that nature. So for me, unfortunately, um, a heartbreak for me smells like the plastic bag that we have to, you know, uh, put a body in uh, when a person passes away. So um, the next one is friendship. So... Uh, what does friendship smell like? So um, oh, I'm glad this question was next after that because that was a little bit a little much, right? <laughs> so um, friendship for me, um, <clears throat> excuse me. When I think about friendship, I think about one very good friend that I have. And, um, you know, we've been friends forever, you know, since high school, actually. So over 25 years. 
Um, her name is Tiffany and um, she always, always, always growing up, oh my gosh, she always wore this perfume called Happy. So when I think about the, the great friend that I do have, I think about Tiffany. And when I think about Tiffany, I think about that perfume Happy. I don't know if it was by Lancome or whatever, but Tiffany, she wore that perfume out. I mean, to this day, I cannot stand it. <laughs> to this day, I cannot stand it because um, she absolutely loved it. And she must have oversprayed it back then, which wasn't even a word uh, back in like 1990 something, early 1990s. Um, but she definitely oversprayed Happy. It was very throat scratching, very striking, very cloying. Like everything about Happy was like annoying. But I love that she loved it as well. <laughs> so anyway, that's what friendship smells like to me. It smells like t um, the Happy that Tiffany wore all the time. Um, so number six, success smells like to me, um, su success it's a very um, different question, but for me, success, when you walk into, I guess, you know, when you're successful, you want nice things and you want, you know, newer things sometimes. I'm um, not all the time, but sometimes. So when you walk into that new home and you smell paint or new cabinets, new wood cabinets, or if you're purchasing a new car, like when I first became a nurse oh, almost 20 years ago, um, I purchased the car that I've always wanted and it was my Acura TL. Like I absolutely love that car. So um, I said, this is what I'm gonna do for myself, you know, since I graduated. So when you sit in that new car and you smell those leather seats and that new car smell, um, that's pretty much really made me happy because I thought about my success and what I've accomplished in life. And um, at the time I was extremely happy. So um, I'm still happy today to y'all, <laughs> even more today. So um, the worst smell I've ever smelled in my life. All right, you guys put on your seatbelts. <laughs> so at work again, um, I don't know if you all have smelled uh, dead flesh or dead tissue. Not that the person is dead, but I've smelled a body before. But um, just say you're a diabetic and um, you aren't checking your blood sugars like you're supposed to and you aren't um, eating the diet that you're supposed to. I might be talking to somebody here, um, you know, but we, we all have to work on our diets like seriously. Um, so when a person comes in with like poor circulation and, you know, the first thing that affects a diabetic is their micro or, um, is their micro tissue, which are the eyes, the fingertips, the kidneys, um, you know, the toes. So when a person comes in and they have that diabetic foot or the, the toe that's falling off or the dead tissue, it's like black and necrotic and there's pus and, you know, there's green things, you know, or the toe is about to fall off. About um, maybe about 15 years ago, I had this one patient and um, his actually the last two toes on his foot was falling off. The foot was like 10 times the size that it's normally that it normally is. And um, the foot was so swollen and basically the toes were basically just falling off the bone. And he actually asked me to cut it off for him. And I was like, no, sir, um, I am not cutting off your toes. Uh, you're actually supposed to go to surgery. And he refused surgery. You know, he ended up becoming septic. You know, um, in the end, he ended up getting an amputation because in that, in that diabetic foot, in that uh, necrotic uh, toe or toes or foot that's infected, you know, you can actually smell it. Um, if it's a closed door, you can smell the foot all the way down the hall. That's how bad it was. You know, um, the, you know, no matter how many masks you put on and we were, I was masking up in no matter how much stuff I put under my nose, no matter what I wore, you know, we actually had to move this patient to the end of the hallway because the foot was so offensive. And that's just the foot y'all. And that comes from diabetes. It comes from a diet and eating bad food for the most part, unless, you know, there's two different types of diabetes. Um, this is the more of the controlled one. Um, uh, diabetes one and two, maybe we'll do a segment on that, um, you know, later on, but you know, that dead tissue smell, 
is one of the worst smells of my lifetime. Also, there's another one. There's something called melana. And if you have a lower GI bleed or sometimes an upper GI bleed or both, um, you start to bleed into your bowels. And the smell of bloody stool, um, because you're bleeding, it's you know constantly bleeding through your bowels. And this is a lot of blood, y'all. Like blood, blood clots. You know, it could be like a liter, two liters of blood, you know, that you're bleeding and you're passing stool at the same time. Those are two of the worst smells of my life. And um, I'm pretty sure some others can agree that work with adults, you know, um, or that work around these things. Those are some of the worst smells of my life. So anyway, I hope no one was eating watching this. <laughs> and we shall move on. Um, that's how I could talk about this all day. And that's how traumatic it is for me um, because it is ingrained in my brain and my head and it's just a part of my life, you know? So anyway, um, on to the next. Uh, my ideal vacation smells like. <laughs> There's always, thank you, um, Dr. Claire Smith, for alternating these questions because I think you uh, psychologically knew that um, some of these questions might mess us up. <laughs> so anyway, um, my ideal vacation smells like. Now, um... When I was over in Italy in Capri, you know, I did a lot of sailing in Positano, Sorrento, um, the Amalfi Coast, uh, and all over in the areas of Capri. And you really, really smell the ocean there. And I'll never forget all of the 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 hues and different colors of the uh, light turquoise, the dark blue, you know, the beautiful colors of the sea were just amazing. And my ideal vacation, it smells oceanic. It smells very fresh, very airy. It smells like lemons, fresh lemons, you know? Um, so that's pretty much it. Citrusy, oceanic smells. So uh, my house smells like uh, my house always smells like something at any given moment. Um, I have a couple things to show you. So I brought this amazing berry waffle cone candle from Bath & Body. Right now my house smells like this every day. I opened up the uh, door a couple times for deliveries and there the postman or the delivery guy's like, oh, your house smells so good. What is that, you know? So I sometimes I let them know what it is or they just usually say that, drop the package and go. You know, but as soon as I open the door, they get a whiff of this candle. When I tell you this candle is amazing, I actually found this candle when I was over in Cincinnati. I was walking through the mall and two stores down, I could smell this candle and that's why I purchased it. You don't even have to light this candle for it to smell. Just open it up and it will smell your entire, the area of your house up. That's how good this is. So this is Bath and & Body and this initially is from... Um, I think it was Barnes something, Bath and Body Berry Waffle Cone. Also, my house might smell like uh, rose incense. You know, sometimes I'll do this every morning. Um, or also, I like to sage, you know. Saging is a part of meditation, you know, and sometimes I'll just sage and light this. Sage actually is an antibacterial. It's um, it's very good for meditating. My daughter thinks this smells like um, hot links, uh, but <laughs> she's like, who's cooking hot links? I'm like, no one, it's sage, okay? Um, so I just kind of burned this. It's an amazing smell in the house. It's um, antiviral, antibacterial. Um, it's considered an, you know, airy anti-infective. So um, this is not voodoo or witchcraft or anything like that. It's actually um, used for meditation, mental calming, mental clarity. You know, you sit there and meditate and pray or just meditate meditate um, and um, just get some clarity in your life and you know move forward throughout your day so yeah this is sage so next um, uh, that was number eight now number nine is oh where's my number nine or am I missing oh no that was number nine my house smells like number ten the first thing I smell in the morning so um, this was kind of difficult for me to answer, but I mean, really the first thing I smelled in the morning, the first thing I do in the morning is use the bathroom, right? So what do I smell in the morning? I smell remnants of urine. <laughs> so, you know, I, I thought about this question 
yesterday I got up to use the bathroom and I was like, this question popped in my head. And I was like, uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's not that glamorous, but the first thing I smell in the morning is, you know, remnants of urine as you're going to the bathroom. So make sure you drink your water and your urine's nice and clear and clean. And it's not too ammonia smelly, you all. Hydrate, okay? <laughs> number one. Um, so the next question is, which is number 11, uh, the scent that I love that others usually don't or they hate. Um, I love the smell of bleach because I think in my head when I do smell the scent of bleach, I think that things are clean, you know? So that's pretty much basically it. I love like, just like for beat, for breeze, piney smells, Mr. Clean, you know, detergents, things like that. I don't have to put them to my nose, but I do, I actually love those smells. When I smell them, I take a real good deep breath in at work, at work. I wipe everything down before I start my shift. I wipe everything down, computers, phones, everything with bleach, you know, because I don't know where everybody else's hands has been. And you know, hey, uh, people are gonna be people regardless, but I need to make sure I protect myself, you know, and my staff, okay? Um, the next one is I smell like, well, most of the time, I would smell like, um, there's this Trader Joe's oil. It's a lemongrass oil. And I use that oil on my body just about every single day. It's like a citrusy coconut uh, type oil. So a lot of you, you know, they're like, oh, Marcy, you have like your skin's glowing and sweating as well. Um, so most of the time I do put oil on my skin, even though my skin is oily because I think that, but I clean it really well, you know, soap and water, uh, because, um, you know, I think that if you hydrate and moisturize your skin, it will decrease the wrinkles, you know, um, on top of getting some, uh, vitamin D, some sunlight. So, um, but yeah, I probably smell like either mango butter, um, shea butter, a mango shea vitamin E with butter combination or the Trader Joe's um, vitamin, uh, the Trader Joe's oil. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's probably what I smell like. Something citrusy and sweet. You know, even the natural deodorant that I use is a spray and um, that's pretty citrusy as well. You know, I just love citrus smells. Um, not per se perfume, you know, yes, in the summertime, but um, some of the ones that are, I'm using in some of the intimate parts, you know. Um, but anyway, that is it. I hope I didn't scare you away from my channel. Um, thank you, Dr. Claire, for making this tag. Um, Y'all, I held it in. I was fighting some tears for a moment, but um, I did it. <laughs> so um, anyway, I thank you all for... Uh, joining me on this intimate tag section session and um, consider yourself tagged um, and it would be nice to get to know some deeper some of you other reviewers that uh, we interact you know throughout our daily lives on this channel you know I would want to know some of these things about you as well so if you are watching this you know Emmy um, Nisha uh, Paula, you know, um, Nadia, you know, uh, yummy 411 Kia, consider yourself tag AI the Great, uh, Wit Babe, Sheree, um, consider yourselves all tag. Love all of your channels. Um, you know, I think a lot of other people were tagged, like 50 Cents UK, uh, the Fragrantition Gabby. If you were tagged, I would love to know so much about Gabby. I find you extremely interesting, Gabby, you know, and I know you have a lot a lot of good things to tell so um would love to listen to your voice as well so anyway thank you all for joining me have an amazing day bye bye and this was the tag on scent memories bye bye